Welcome back to the second remaking of Hotline Miami, or we just call it Hotline Clone, because it is technically a clone, a tribute to the game, which a lot of guys uh, actually kind of love. But what I did here is, of course, kind of clone the original um, start screen, which is a very, very, very important thing at the very beginning, and applied a few more modern things to make it enhanced graphically because for example if you are looking at this and then you're looking at this that is the same and here you have a nice glow effect which is the glow bloom shader everything is in the description below so no worries we already did this of course the background we already did also so therefore not gonna repeat it so what can you expect from this video tutorial now well we're just gonna do this spawner and the trees then we're pretty much finished and then the next following one we will do a little bit more on how we can reproduce this font thing which you see in the if you for example watch um, hotline miami the, the introduction that it is applied actually to uh, not just here uh, the menu font but of course on uh, the logo also but we're gonna just do it here so you know how you can reproduce this technically so this is not a big issue so for example if you're saying like hey but i want to do the action parts well then you have to skip these ones because i guess uh, this is not for you but for everybody else who wants to have an insight where to start how to do this because i think it is super super important to make the first screen um, quite impressive because a lot of things uh, from the very very beginning are vital to the success of your game for example if you see hotline miami you see this hypnotic movement of left and right of course here i overdid it a little bit but so you can see there's lots of shaking and lots of stuff but um, the first impression is kind of crucial for if you mess this up at the very beginning your game can be super great and for example it starts great at i don't know at the 10th hour but people uh, play half an hour or one hour and most of them then just simply leave then this is wasted potential and we want to do everything great at the very beginning so this is a little tip from you most people don't actually uh, well finish their games just have the first three hours a blast and after that well then this is then for the in quotations real gamers which actually want to play the game a little bit longer and enjoy the whole process so without further ado Let's do and uh, remake, for example, this logo. So, for example, if you're seeing this and this, it is, of course, completely different. It's not completely, but this nice glow effect is based on the shader. And I love the bloom shader. It gives so much atmosphere. And, of course, here, a simple sprite, which is a vignette. And, boom, this thing already looks more modern, more appropriate for 2020. And, of course, following years so let's go into our painty thing so here if you see like hey how can we actually do such a logo it is not too difficult in my opinion and for that i used resources which are kind of free so link in the description also jojo jungle pack and of that i just took what did i took uh, sprite sheets here we go here we go and the background so i just took this guy here and I used it for the background. You will see that in a few seconds. And then uh, the rest is just a font, which is of course free. So this is, how are you called? Uh, Tres Dias Black. And then of course, then we say Hot Line Miami. And here you will see, get a little, not Miami, let's go for clone because hey, we wanna do the same. And it's of course not the best one uh, for Hotline. They actually got a better one, but I didn't find an appropriate one. So, hey, this is what I got. And for now, this doesn't look anything like this. But for example, if you lose, this is Affinity Photo. Highly appreciate this program because Adobe is way too, way too, way too expensive. And therefore, hey, we're going to use this one. So here you got uh, your first font. Then what you can do, you can actually kind of skew it, which is pretty sweet. So we skewed this part and then the next thing what we want to do is give it some effects 
for example, we can give it an outline with a white color. There we go. Radius, let's go for, I don't know, one. Can we see something? Maybe go for a little bit more. And even more. Uh, okay, so here we don't see it because hey, we have a transparent layer. Not an issue. Then, of course, we can copy paste that dude and give it a different color. So let's go for the violent one. And boom. Of course, here we kill the outline and put it below. And therefore, we already have a nice kind of shadowy effect. And now you can see the outline a little bit bigger, better. And as you can see, oh, this is already formatting quite nicely. And of course, the outline is a little bit strong. So let's go for a little less. So it's a little more subtle. Sweet. So the next thing what we can actually do is create a layer. And then boom, make it wide. So as you can see, we are actually cre recreating a basically uh, the logo and here we got a stripe doesn't look too good so therefore we just go and apply a blur filter Gaussian blur uh, yeah, something like this wait and now we can actually take this dude make a second one and overlay it I don't know something like this I'm not sure if this is over let's go and check out Hmm, this is not blurred, so let's go once again. Gaussian blur. Ah, maybe I didn't apply. Here we go. Then go on top. The second one a little bit bigger. As you can see, this looks a little bit clunky and messy. But for example, if we go and make the opacity not as strong, boom. And this is the same as you can see now we are already kind of similar of course we need to do a few a few things more to get uh, and cut it out but this shouldn't be an issue and for example what else do we have cropped cropped so we take nope no we're not taking you we are for example taking this out and then what i just did is Copy paste that a few times and then recolor it. I want to do this and then, for example, overlay it here over that thing. And then what you can come on. What you can later do is just basically rasterize that thing. So basically you just take the font and go right click, rasterize. And then now this is a pixel amount so basically this is not a font anymore and now you can for example select everything do a inverted selection and boom for example if we go now on on our background we can actually delete and as you can see now the parts which we wanted to have are there and this is the same what we can do here on our lines and now as you can see boom we have ourselves a neat little logo and one of the interesting things which i didn't know this was kind of annoying um, if you for example do a new document the background is not transparent then you just go on a document and then transparent background and bam you have it and this was kind of annoying for me and as you can see yeah boom um, this is how i recreated kind of the logo and of course if you have even a better font for that this can really look nice and clean so here this is one thing which i did and then the next thing um, what i wanted to do is grab those pounds because we want to have them go into the screen so what i just did i just took one of them uh, well, cut it out over here okay not like this something like this and then i wanted it to be white because i want to overlay it and then of course effects this is kind of similar if you do that in Photoshop. Mm, come on, different color, color overlay. Not black, but white. Of course, now you cannot see it good, 
but this is the way. And then of course, what I wanted to do is have a little outline, which is giving this thing a little bit more texture, not too much. And then boom, we have it ready. So basically this is my tree and we can actually work with this. And this is what I wanted to show you for the first part, because this is going to be hopefully interesting when we implement it into the game, because here, um, as you can see, this, these trees are, so the palm trees, which are coming in are actually white, but they are getting over colored. This is kind of important to understand. Then the over coloring you actually do with the font also, which is white at the beginning and then boom, you can um, actually make it look nicer. So without further ado, let's go and actually start our project. So we got a workspace, start page, say new, game maker language, not the trash. Here we go. Uh, uh, production. I got tons of stuff. So basically, here we go, here we go and projects and then I don't know how do we call it hotline clone alrighty so here we go let's start it and of course I want to first of all make it a little bit bigger kill all that stuff because eh, we ain't gonna need anything of this for now we are not gonna use specific dimensions concerning how the room is so for example this one we're gonna leave it the way it is this is not important for the splash screen, at least at least not for the beginning, because hey, we don't need it. And then we, I want to import something, which I did in another project. So this was, as you can see, you can actually now go right mouse button, then add existing. Then you can take from other projects, which is a very, very handy thing. Um, and then objects and then background. This is the thing which we already had. and because I actually like how that stuff is going. So let's go for sprites. Here, I want to give all the objects a little nice icon because then it is easier to understand, hey, what's in the room. For example, if you put an empty object in there without kind of an icon as assigned, then they kind of look not too good. So therefore we just put that in, boom. And for example, if we start it, then it will look like this. And this is nothing spe special. So I'm going to go quickly over it, what's actually happening. So here, this is a background, which is going to shifting its hue value. And because the hue can be a lot of colors. So therefore we got this. And of course we give it a middle saturation and the middle value. So the colors are not popping too much. And then they are more pleasing to the eye. So this is the great part of course what we can do for example if you want to import some stuff you can go for sprites or we can go and do the drag and drop stuff which is pretty handy so we're just gonna go input the vignette and then it will take the original name then we want to have the tree and then some icons so the spawner which we're gonna need and for the background we already have it and of course our made logo which we want to input there so here for that we just first of all do uh, create an asset layer of course this is not the most elegant way how to do it let's do it anyway they put it in as you can see it's a little bit big <laughs> so therefore i need to uh, clamp it a little bit of course you don't want you can of course play around with it do something a monstrosity like this but if you don't want this then uh, let's go back we gonna hold the what is it the control key yes the control key and then it is um, relative and therefore it won't be skewed to something which you which we don't want to have so sweet so this already works now we need to work on our first object which is the spawner for um, what I wanted to do is then we need to have in the middle uh, object and this thing is spawning all the time trees left and right and this is technically hopefully not too difficult to understand so therefore we're gonna do and jump right into it so minute 15 
All right, so I'm gonna cut it for today and then see you in the next part. All right.